what's up this is Ray welcome back man it feels like a long time since I made a video <laughs> so yes welcome back uh, today what we're going to be doing we're going to be reviewing a unique wireless microphone system and you're looking at it and listening to it right now this is the Sokani tiny professional wireless system what's unique about this system is it has a built-in microphone most of these wireless systems has a lapel that clips onto your shirt this one comes with that lapel if you if you choose so it's more versatile but you see how small it is? The receiver on top of the camera is the same exact size. So the point is, if you need to use a wireless system, it's just much more convenient. Um, so, but this system is meant to compete with the Rode Wireless Go system. Um, that Rode system is about $200. This system is about $150. So I'm going to put it through a, a, a bunch of real tests to see what it's good for. And, um, and really see wh what it's capable of. It's, if it's worth the $150. <laughs> see what I'm saying? So yeah, if you're curious about a small light wireless system that you can use for your videos or whatever you're gonna do, stick around. We're gonna be checking out the Sokani Tiny Professional Wireless System. Stay tuned. Okay, so what comes in the case? Of course, you get the um, transmitter and the receiver. And you probably noticed I switched to the lapel microphone here just for variety and so you can see how the lapel sounds compared to the, the internal mic. Um, the receiver comes with a hot shoe adapter to plug into your camera hot shoe. It comes with two cables. One cable is a 3.5 that runs into your camera. Um, the other cable is a 3.5 that runs into your cell phone. So if you're using a cell phone, it is compatible uh, because it has the three black rings around it instead of two. A lot of people don't know that. Um, that's pretty much all that it comes with. I don't remember how many channels it has, so I'm going to put up here the number of channels. Um, it's important, I found, to tr try different channels because some of them are clear and some of them have bad reception. It's more sensitive than a lot of wireless systems I've tried uh, as far as the channels are concerned, so, so definitely do those. Um, there's On the display, there's this little line that's constantly moving around and twitching i don't know what it is because whether you're talking or not it's flickering whether the re there's reception or not it's doing that so i don't know if it's necessary um it shows the battery level and also what channel you're on interestingly enough the light on the display i don't think you can turn it off and the reason i say that you may be in a dark room and you may want to put this on someone and the light might be distracting. It almost looks like Iron Man if you're in a dark place <laughs> and it's on your shirt. <laughs> yeah, so that's really the technicals of it. So next thing we're going to do, let's go do some real world tests um, and see how, how far it can transmit and where it starts to break up. Okay, so this is going to be the real world test. Um, I'm using the lavalier mic instead of the inbuilt one. There's a little wind here and I don't want that wind to interfere. Um, I'm also testing the autofocus of my camera, see if it'll <laughs> stay, keep track of me. I also did this test a moment ago and um, the signal cut off when I reached right by that sign. So I changed channel. I put it in, I think frequency 600.15. I'm going to walk real far and just talk with my back to the camera and we'll see if it makes any difference. Let's go. One thing I like about this system is it's rechargeable. Um, a lot of systems use AA batteries. AA batteries is good because if you run out, you can always change when I'm going to be bringing all of that along. So that's just part of the test. Um, what else? And I'm curious how this performs compared to the road that it's competing with, the road wireless go. Um, I haven't been able to test that so um, yeah but so based on what we just did this is the outdoor real world test. Uh, I can't speak on it now, so I'm going to shut the camera off, and after I listen to it, then we can shoot the video on my thoughts. One issue I have with this system that I don't seem to have with my other wireless systems is, as you probably noticed, as I walk away from the camera, you see, you hear those glitches. Um, they break in and out. So it's kind of sensitive and um, dependent on direct line of sight, and you don't really want to have your body or anything in between it and sometimes that can be limiting if you're doing something active and you need this to to record it um, another thing is look 
is small, but it's still distracting on my on my shirt, right? Where, we, where am I going to put this? If you tuck it under here, under your shirt, you're going to see a little bulge there. So um, it's up to you to find a strategic way to use this with the internal mic. But if you do need it hidden, it's easy to put in your pocket and use the lapel mic instead. So um, that versatility is something that a lot of other mics don't give you. If you, if you want to have one less cable to be carrying around. Uh, so those are some points I, I had to point out. Um, I'm going to put a link below if you're interested in getting this. It is about $150 um, on the Sokani Amazon store. If you click on that link, it does help the channel. It doesn't cost you any more. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them below. I've actually talked to some of the Sokani reps. So um, if you have any questions for them, I could relay that to them. Um, hey, but thank you for watching. And keep in mind, no matter what microphone you use for your video or your productions, until next time, as always, keep it real.